First of all, it's an honor, sir. Nice oh, to meet you. Thank you very really. much. Well, it's the first Bond film that begins with a text that it's alive. Why is the first one? Oh, it's the first one. Why? Uh, well, it, it kind of um, came from uh, when we were here in Mexico City, Los Muertos Vivos Están. That's mm -hmm. what they say, right? So the dead are alive. And it's, I wanted it to be clear that it wasn't just a great location and a great event, a magnificent celebration, but also it's kind of what the movie is about. The, that someone who Bond thinks is long dead is actually still with us, is still alive. So I felt it had a nice double meaning. Okay. Talk to me about the ending. For me, it's the first time that James Bond has the girl, has the car, has love. It's a goodbye for you. Well, it's clearly Bond saying, I'm leaving. Yeah. Whether he's leaving forever or whether he's leaving for a time, um, you know, is yet to be seen. You know, nobody knows what's going to happen next in the end of any Bond movie. Mm -hmm. um, and it's the same here. Um, but I think if it were to be Daniel's last film, it would make sense. But you're, it's, you're saying that it's your last film. For me, I haven't said that. No, I, I said I don't think that I'll make another one. I, I you know, people always ask me this and I haven't, the movie isn't released yet and people ask, you're going to make another one? I mean, <laughs> you know, uh, it's like, wait, you know, let me let just see the film and see what it is and let me have a breathe, let me breathe, you know, mm -hmm. and people are like already onto me uh, because that's the story. But, but uh, I'm here because I want people to see this movie, not talk about the next one. Okay. <laughs> Why resurrect Spectre after maybe three decades of fun? Um, because I loved it when I was a kid, uh, because it has another meaning. It's not just the organization Spectre, it's also a Spectre from Bond's past. Uh, it's also a Spectre coming back from the iconography of Bond, you know, the mm -hmm. mythology. There are great. One of the things I enjoyed in Skyfall was taking out the DB5, the feeling of people had of ownership of that memory. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's the same here. So I thought it was a challenge to create an, a new version of that organization. Now in the Spectre, I, everybody saw the reference, obviously, of Casino Royale and Skyfall. Why Quantum of Solace is more, I don't know if it's, it is forgotten, but it's not that important for you on your scripts. Why? Uh, well, you know, he's in there. Uh, yeah. Mr. White is in, the, in, in, in Quantum. Dominic Green is mentioned in the movie mm -hmm. and is in Quantum. Um, so it's there. Uh, I think the significant events that have happened to Daniel's Bond mm -hmm. are the death of Vesper mm -hmm. in Casino Royale and the death of M in Skyfall. There wasn't a significant event that happened to him in Quantum. It was more of a transition between one story and the other. So there was less for us to mine, less for us to play with. So maybe that's why. My last question, I know I have to... Sorry, oh. You and the theater, come, coming back to the theater. I'll come back. When? Come on. I'll come back. <laughs> okay. Mexico City. What were you doing there? I was taking some overdue holiday. Spectre.